Hi everyone, this is Pete. Welcome back to Sorcery Saga Curse of the Great Curry God. Last time we had a preliminary expedition into the new dungeon, so that's pretty much where we're going to be picking up straight away today. Let's we'll see if we can make it all the way through this time. As I said last time, I'm not entirely sure how deep this particular dungeon is, but it's probably going to be bigger than the first one, which was 15 floors, if I remember rightly. So, let's... Um, actually, before we do that, let's just make sure we haven't got anything lying around that we need to upgrade or anything. So nothing in the box. It's actually been a few days since I played this, so uh, if I remember rightly, at the end of the last session I actually upgraded um, my weapon and armor quite a significant amount. As you can see, we've now got this command blade plus 16 and a shield plus 8, a uh, level 4 shield as well. So both of those are pretty good and should hopefully give us plenty of fun times. I'm going to store some of this crap. Oh, that's all I'm carrying anyway, so... Okay. Let us proceed. So, through the icy forest, first of all. Uh, maybe a couple of levels and a bit of loot from here, but uh, this place is my priority. Just want to get through and into the dungeon proper. Correctly, the exit was up at the top. Yeah, there it is. Crappy shield, that can be coup fodder when he needs it. a huge amount of damage out of this sword at the minute despite it having a very high modifier on it now maybe it's just these enemies are strong against swords or something a one hit kill on those though that's pretty good I think I might have just hit him from a distance there actually let me just check yeah, there we are. Three forward. I think that means that I can actually hit people from range with this now, which is pretty neat. We'll try it out next time we see an enemy. If so, that's going to make crowd control a whole lot easier. Of course, now there's no enemies to fight. Whoops. You, you'll do. Yes. Okay, so I can hit foes from a distance now. That's pretty neat. More upgrade fodder. That's a really annoying trap. Sends you back to the previous floor if you didn't manage to uh, catch what the text said. Yeah, I can absolutely kill stuff before it gets even close to me now, which is great. That's going to be very useful on those fire-breathing phoenixes once we get into the dungeon. A 
we give some Ku some food so he can have some uh, levels. And you can have that. And you can have that. And you can have that. Oh, he's learned the laser. That's quite cool. Another sign you need to pay constant attention in this game. A disarm trap. Oh, I love this weapon. I have to do everything I can to hold on to it. Make sure nothing disastrous happens to it. Like, say, getting disarmed, dropping it, and Ku has that automatically eat stuff on the floor trait, and then he just eats it. That would that would suck. Zapping, that's good too. Your biggest penis mushroom. No more traps, please. I realise saying that in a mystery dungeon game is a futile gesture, but you know. Gotta make an effort at least. Penis mushroom? Third and final floor of the forest. Come here. Cock monk. It's so good, I can't get over it. It's also probably going to make dealing with bosses a bit easier as well. There's a lot of boss special attacks seem to be um, sort of close-up powerful melee attacks. to be able to get a bit of distance in there. Can't be trapped. Nice. Get some more upgrades. into the dungeon proper. And let's not have any disasters like last time. Oh, 
How are you with boulders, too? Oh, you, you like them. Have some rope. Delicious. Looks like I had an ID scroll, didn't I, I think? Use that rather than risking getting cursed. Ladle minus one. That can go straight down Coos Gullet. Yum yum. No crappy weapons on this floor. What's that? This was the dungeon with the really long corridors, wasn't it? Alright. Onwards. And try and make my first goal the... Uh, Mini boss at the halfway point, assuming there is one in this as well. So I'm not going to be too thorough with exploration. Exploration, even. Since I'm in a pretty good place with equipment already, there's no real point in wasting time wandering around too much. Use here. So a good floor to try and get through in a reasonable time. Oh, stairs are right there. Okay. Onward! Ooh, hello. Tofu men, the stuff they dropped was quite good food if I remember rightly. It's good to have plenty of stuff on hand to keep Koo fed up. Don't eat poison rice, kids. Or rotten rice. Because it will poison you. Are you still poisoned? He'll get over it. comforting about the fact that this game uses a lot of the same sound effects as Compile Heart's other games. I mean, I know some would say that that's lazy or whatever, but, you know, it's part of having an identity, sort of having a distinctive look and feel. I mean, this doesn't quite look like a lot of other Idea Factory games because it's got uh, a different artist to things like the Neptunia and the Fairy Fencer games. But stuff like the sound effects play a role in making something recognisable as uh, a particular company or person's work as well, so... I 
And that's something I rather like. Like that menu sound is a variation on the one from Make You. And the sword swipe one is one that's used an awful lot in uh, Neptunia. Staying pretty well hidden in this floor. No matter though, we're getting some good levels out of it. There it is. Fifth floor. No! Fourth floor. Oh no. The horrible one. Right, got to be extremely careful on these floors where you get slowed. Because often the enemies get several turns before you do. Which can be extremely dangerous, as we've seen on previous occasions. So, just take it carefully, step at a time. Careful eye out for enemies, be ready for them. The um, staff weapon seems to give Ku a lot more in the way of hunger bar back than the physical weapons. That's probably worth remembering. Back coup. Oh, sweet escape. Right, floor five. No more traps. Oh, many tofu. You need to be proud, Ku. Have some tofu. Devour your fallen enemies. Oh, those are the ghost girls that hide in the walls, aren't they? They're quite irritating. Yellow ones are good, I think. Yes, please. On to floor six. Lots of enemies on this floor. Lots of enemies means lots of food drops, which Ku is in mild need of. Get out of the wall, ghost.
secret scrolls got rid of curses if I remember rightly who doesn't like cold rice Good loot. None you know, of this no modifier shit. So baddies here. Hold them off in the doorway, as is roguelike tradition. God, there's hundreds of them. Oh, wait, Koo. Oh, that, that's good too. Cursed scroll. No, thank you very much. Still nothing good. The so I can't really complain with the weapon I've got at the minute. Shield could be a bit better, but the weapon's pretty amazing. Well, that was worth it. Alright, I guess it must be this way then. Oh, I did a lot more damage now. There's the way up. Those things are bad, so let's bait them down here. Come in. No, maybe we can't go the other way. Oh, shit. Anything we could throw at them? Maybe an explosive? That, that will do the job? You can have that. Strategy. Pro strats.
Alright, good progress so far. Four seven was where all the bad shit happened last time. Uh oh. Quite bad. All right, let's start with a heal. Who will hopefully attack a bit? All right, there's one down. Let's deal with this one as well. And then we need to approach the fire breathing one as well. Carefully. You ran away, coward. Nasty. Steal my stuff, you little shit. Ooh. A little more intense than I would have liked. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Gotta be this way then. Right, you come here and get hit. Right, you get hit. And you get hit. And you get hit. Celestial nut, eh? Don't worry, I won't make that joke again. Ooh, energy drink fully restores coup, that's good to know. A lot of the stuff in this does make a sort of logical sense when you think about it. Like if you give Ku something that sounds like it might be tasty, then it will probably restore his hunger quite a bit. Full inventory again.
need to get ready to clean up a bit. Let's make a curry. That should clean things up a bit. We'll have a celestial nut and some rice and some grim sugar and see what that does. Mm, no. It does bad things. Okay, and what about penis mushroom, cold rice, and jump spice? Oh, that's pretty good. Hold on to that one. For the Actually, let's eat that, because curry doesn't survive too many floors, if I remember rightly. So this should buff us up for a bit. Boost our experience as well. A lot more damage with that. Ooh, that was an ordeal. One to floor nine. Phoenix things are really annoying. I think with having all those hit points from being relatively high level, is it takes a lot longer to restore them naturally. Not really a huge problem if you've got a quiet corridor to wander down like we just had there, but. Reminds me, need to look at some of those key items at some point. Get the uh, the items they unlock for you. Unlocked a few skills that way. Ow. Work coup. Ow. Oh no. It's unfortunate. Not too drastic an effect, fortunately. the way back to town. So we got this far last time. We're going to continue from here this time. Let's see if we can find a mini bus. Do we get the cool new music again? We do. Excellent. So this appears to be the You've Gone Beyond Floor 10 music.
Those things are quite annoying. Sense things taking a turn for the dangerous. Faster than you. Well, that's how you deal with them from a distance. Who blocks my ranged attack? That's annoying. Do we get Koo fed up a bit before we move on? I think. Or he could just keep putting himself in harm's way and die. <laughs> Case there is a boss. Take a look over here. And that's just going to join up with that passageway over there, isn't it? Yep. One of them. Another key item. And some money. I'll be finding much money this run. Well, then you. And not very nice. Something good just happened. Defense boost seal. What that was? Oh, that must have been the thing on the weapon. 
Well, the armor. Probably the armor. Let's just have a quick look around, see if there's any more food for Ku. So I'm feeling like we've got to be getting close to a minibus by now. As I say, the first dungeon was only 15 floors altogether. I'm going to assume this is maybe 25 or 30 floors in total, maybe? We'll see. He takes any more poison like before. No skills here, eh? See, pick it. Hmm. Tough, see, pick it. Two of them, excellent. Cool. Do you like flyweed? Moderately. Uh oh. Getting tougher. I don't actually bother to upgrade those weapons. Nope. Hmm. Just 
struggling a bit for food at the minute. And those maids are cleaning up all the items on the floor as well, so... When they clean them, they disappear, so... Using some loot opportunities. Strike of luck. Right, fifteenth floor. This is where the first dungeon ended. And yes, we have a cutscene, so something's gonna happen here. お前が欲しい。元い。お前の持つ究極食材が欲しい。やっぱり来たか。ふん。この俺から逃げられると思うなよ。はあ。言わないで。またお前か、ネズミウサギ。何を言っているのかは知らんが、俺は変態でも働き
um, we'll do a quick save and then we will continue from this point next time uh, I guess this is taken us to where the first dungeon finished and presumably there's going to be a fair bit more of this one after that so uh, we'll leave this episode here for this time continue on from here next time so as always thank you very much for following along with me on this journey on this adventure and having a good time still i think you are as well um sorcery saga curse of the great curry god is available on playstation vita uh, and ghostlight games recently brought it to steam as well which is the version we're playing here uh, so if you want to find out more uh feel free to reach out to me on twitter or discord or anything like that or have a chat with ghostlight games they're you know, very approachable um and yeah check it out it's a great game so Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game. So be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.